Mufti Mink responds. Welcome back to Gyms. My name is Melissa Mitchell from here in Australia, Abundant Life Studio. And today I'm going to watch something which is only very short, but uh, there's been a bit of talk about it and I'm not really sure what's happening. Um, I'm just going to play it. I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm just going to play it. It's a quick clip. I'll play it and then um, we'll see what it's about. So I'll just play it and then I'll give you the name of it afterwards. So it's had a lot of views and it's a quick one. So we'll just push play and I'm a bit confused as to what's going on and we'll see what's happening here. Here we go. I'll give you the title afterwards and we'll see what's going on here. jumps on imam during tarawi in algeria wow he just it didn't phase him he just kept going that was really really powerful wow okay one uma is the channel 2.36 million subscribers i was not expecting that he handled that so well that was really incredible. And the cat was showing him so much love. It was like the cat just knew something powerful was taking place. So that was incredible. Uh, this video is called The Cat and the Imam. Mufti Mink responds. So Mufti Mink is responding to, responding to the other video. And the channel is by Mufti Mink. Um, and if you've seen, if you haven't seen that other video, go back and watch that. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see Mufti Mink's reaction to that. Um, I enjoyed the other video. It was a very quick video, but it was, yeah, it was really, really great. I enjoyed it. Um, I felt that, um, it was really powerful. I felt that the cat, um, sensed something really powerful was, was happening. Um, and yeah, I'm interested to see Mufti Mink's interpretation of that. Uh, before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and of course, click that notification button so you know when Jim's next um, uploads their uh, uh, our content. And of course, share Jim's with your uh, family, friends and loved ones. Um, so let's get started. This is a very quick video. We'll see what Mufti Mink's uh, response is to it and I will give you my reaction to his reaction at the end here we go push play assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my brothers and sisters a few days ago there was an imam from Algeria who was fulfilling the evening prayer known as taraweeh and a cat happened to jump on him and it actually spent a bit of time there. The beauty of all of that was he did not panic and he did not cut his recitation. He didn't even pause or stop or jerk. And subhanAllah, he maintained his concentration as he was prior to the jumping of the cat. That was something amazing, mashallah. May Allah bless the Imam and grant him goodness. What I want to say is this video went viral and rightly so, mashallah, mashallah. And many people got to see a side of bearded people, or should I say practicing Muslims with animals. Yeah. I want to seize this opportunity to say the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has told us that people have entered paradise because of their good treatment of dogs and cats and people have entered hellfire because of their bad treatment of cats. There is a narration which means these animals and the Prophet peace be upon him says Fi kulli ratbatin ajrun. Every creature that has 
a liver, every creature that has life, subhanAllah, we need to be good to it and we will get a reward for being kind and good. Not only that, Islam extends to your ecosystem, your environment, the trees that you have. You don't just chop them down in a destructive manner, but we are encouraged very strongly to plant trees. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says whoever plants a tree, will continue to get a reward for as long as that tree is standing, even beyond that person's death, for as long as it is providing some form of benefit in terms of shade, in terms of fruit or whatever else it may be for the people or the birds and the animals and so on. So this is Islam. I'm so happy that this video went viral because many people think as Muslims, we're not supposed to be kind to animals and so on, including dogs and pigs, subhanAllah. I've mentioned quite a few times in the past that the fact that something is prohibited to consume, such as a pig or pork, does not make it permissible for us to be nasty to those animals. Those animals are still animals created by Allah Almighty. Be kind and the Almighty will be kind, not just to you in this world, but even in the hereafter. So if people can earn paradise, through being kind to animals, imagine what they would earn by being kind towards fellow human beings. SubhanAllah. May Allah Almighty make us from those who happen to be very kind. This is the month of kindness and generosity, the month of Ramadan, and this is the message I have for you tonight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What a message. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And that, as a non-Muslim, that was a really great thing for me to hear because I did not realize that with Islam. Um, I, I didn't I didn't know that. Uh, not that I thought in these, uh, sorry, I just need to pause this. Not that I, I thought in Islam that um, I've never thought they were unkind to animals. I just didn't. I didn't know if animals were a big part of your religion, of the religion, um, because I don't see them a lot to do with Islam. Um, and for me, I'm a, I'm a big animal. I mean, my my dog is sitting right here next to me. He's always with me, and I have a lot of animals and pets. Um, and when I saw that original video with the cat, I loved it because the cat was just loving the imam and he he just accepted that and just kept going and didn't push it away or anything it was really really nice like the animal and i believe and i i know that animals animals sense if someone is a bad person they have an instinct so that cat would not have come near that man if he felt um that that man was dangerous so the fact that the cat jumped up shows that that man was a good man um because that that is an instinct and humans we have that instinct as well but we also have a very smart brain that talks us out of that um unfortunately talks us out of that instinct so animals are very um um you know what you see with animals is is really a gut instinct so I know that what, what we saw with that cat jumping up, up is real. He's not fearful. That cat was not fearful of that man. So that, that uh, with um, Mufti Menk, that, that was a really beautiful explanation. So I really enjoyed hearing that because I, as I said, I, I never thought that the Islam faith was nasty to animals. I just didn't think that animals were a very big part of of the religion i'm going to be honest i just didn't think it was a very big part of it um so that's actually really lovely to hear um a great great reaction um i too was great uh, happy to see the original video and i'm glad it went viral as well so thank you for that let us know your thoughts in the comments too if you enjoyed this uh until next time my name is melissa mitchell from here in australia from abundant life studio studio social media marketing agency Make sure if you haven't already hit that subscription button and share us with your friends, family and loved ones. And until next time, 
Take care. See you then. Bye.